Hello YouTube. My name is Carrie Ann and I love to crochet. So I'm not the best at it or the fastest, but I learn and I grow with every new stitch and every new row. So for me, the creative process of crocheting is kind of a meditative practice. It is calming and soothing. My breathing slows, my heart rate slows, and when I get that perfect rhythm of yarn and hook, my mind settles and clears. So, come along with me as we learn, create, and maybe even meditate a little bit. But before we begin, I would just like to start with some mindfulness and tell you what I'm grateful for. So today, I am grateful for the shoes on my feet, the clothes on my back, and the roof over my head. I am grateful for the clean water that flows freely from my faucet and the food in my cupboards. I am grateful for all of my families and all of my friends. May they be blessed, healthy, and safe. So tell me what you're grateful for today. List your gratitude in the comments below. So I just finished this design um, for a lap can. And I designed this for my dad, who is turning 80 this year. Um, this is his birthday gift. And whenever I design a project, um, I usually have someone in mind. And this project was created for him. So the lab can measures 36 inches by 45 inches. And it's the perfect size for someone who's sitting in a chair or maybe even sitting in a wheelchair. And it's just the right size um, to cover from the waist to the ankles. Um, I am sitting in my recliner right now and it covers me just fine. Um, but it's also the perfect size for uh, beginners, uh, someone who's just starting to learn how to crochet. So it's not too big where it feels like an overwhelming project. In this video series, I will show you each step on how to crochet this lap can, and it's done in the mosaic crochet technique. There is a link uh, below the below in the video description where you can purchase my pattern. Um, it's five dollars, um, and you can follow along that way. But if you do not wish to buy the pattern, don't worry. Uh, just get yourself a little notebook, and you can write down each row as we go. Um, each row will be written out and posted in each video. So you can write down the, the pattern if you want to. So the tools you will need for this project, let me just grab my little bowl here. You will need um, a five millimeter hook, crochet hook, a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a tapestry or a darning needle such as this. So those are the tools you will need um, to follow along the videos and create this pattern. <clears throat> so let's talk about the yarn. Um, first off to start, uh, this video is not sponsored. Um, so everything that you see here, the yarn, uh, the tools all purchased with my my own money. So that being said, the yarn I used in, for this project is called Cascade Yarns Friday Harbor. It is 80% merino wool and 20% silk. And I absolutely love this yarn. Um, it is dreamy to work with. It's soft and it creates um, a very warm material. And yes, I know it is a fancy yarn and it is a bit pricey, about $13 and 50 cents a hank. So all told, if you choose to use this yarn, it's around a hundred dollars worth. However, you do not have to use this yarn. You can use any yarn that suits your budget. There are plenty of budget friendly yarns out there. If you choose an acrylic yarn, you will want to use a medium weight number four or a worsted weight yarn. 
So one of the many reasons I chose Friday Harbor Yarn is because of their color palette. They have a beautiful variety of colors to choose from. So I'm going to go through the colors that I chose, but I would encourage you to choose the colors that you love. I have found that when I crochet with colors that I like, I enjoy the project that much more. Um, I have crocheted test pieces with colors that just were not right for my eye. And yeah, I did not bring me as much joy as I usually feel while crocheting. So be creative in your choices. Find the yarn and colors that appeal to you. Um, so there are seven different colors in this project. And this is why I decided um, to post a planning video first just to give you some time to choose your color palette and plan your piece. And I'm going to go through each color that I chose, um, where, where, and where it lands in the piece, um, and how much you will need. And uh, in the video description below, you will also see uh, the list of yarn and colors and the yardage. So. Let's get started and start looking at um, the colors and how they go. Okay, so here is a better view of the Lapgan. And I just wanted to go through this real quickly um, and discuss the colors that I used um, and briefly go through how much you will need of your yarn. Um, again, Everything is going to be listed in the video description below of the yarns and the yardage uh, that I used. Uh, you can use whatever colors, whatever yarn you'd like, what best suits you. Um, I, These are the colors I chose. Please choose colors that appeal to you. So um, we're going to start with the background color, which is this beige color. Um, and that goes all the way through the Lapkian, that's that beige color, oops, right there. Um, and I purchased 876 yards for the background. And then I chose two different pattern colors. So you see this pattern here in the first panel, and then that's all in red. And then I chose uh, the green pattern color for my second pattern color. So in the red, which we have one, two, three, four panels of red, you will need 438 yards. And that's that color right there. That I, it's called chili pepper in the Friday Harbor yards. And then the green, you don't need as much. So there's one, two, three panels of the green as a pattern and you will need 219 yards. The next colors I'm going to talk about are what I call accent colors. Um, so for example here you see that brown and then a line of black and then a row of turquoise and then another row of black. Those are my accent colors. So in the dark brown I'm going to start with, which is this color right here, it's also my border color. I also used it for my border. So for the dark brown that's what you choose for your border. You will need 438 yards. And then I have a, quite a few row of rows of black. And for black, you will need 219 yards. And then for my turquoise that runs through um, as an accent color also runs in the border of the piece. Um, 219 yards and then this beautiful gold yarn that frames the entire lap can which is this beautiful gold right here um, 219 yards that is a total of 2628 yards of yarn um, and these are the colors that I chose. Again, you can choose any colors you want. Um, take the time to plan it out. Think about how you want it to look. 
Um, maybe you don't want to alternate uh, your pattern colors. Maybe you want to use the same pattern color. You can do that. That's fine. Uh, maybe you want to change the color of the, uh, the border. You can certainly do that. It's completely up to you. You have creative license here to um, use colors that, that you like. And I would encourage that. So that's it. Again, everything is listed in the, uh, in the description below as far as yardage goes and what type of yarns um, you should use or can use. And I hope you guys join me as we create this beautiful project. Um, I will start posting videos this coming Saturday. Um, and we'll start with our, our foundation row and our first pattern. And then we'll just move through the piece um, every few videos. So I hope you join me. Um, I'm excited to hear about what colors you cho chose, what yarn you chose. You know, if you have questions, post your questions in the comments below. Um, and I'm looking forward to doing this with you all. So I will talk to you soon and have a great day. Bye for now.